This is your daily devotional from the inspired word of God. October 1st, to be like Jesus, everyone should know and obey the laws of life. Proverbs 4 verses 20 to 22. My son, attend to my words, incline thine ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes, keep them in the midst of thine heart. For they are life unto those that find them, and health to all their flesh. Pure air, sunlight, abstemiousness, rest, exercise, proper diet, the use of water, trust and divine power, these are the true remedies. Every person should have a knowledge of nature's remedial agencies and how to apply them. It is essential both to understand the principles involved in the treatment of the sick and to have a practical training that will enable one rightly to use this knowledge. The use of natural remedies requires an amount of care and effort that many are not willing to give. Nature's process of healing and upbuilding is gradual and to the impatient, it seems slow. The surrender of hurtful indulgences requires sacrifice, but in the end, it will be found that nature, untrammeled, does its work wisely and well. Those who persevere in obedience to its laws will reap the reward in health of body and health of mind. Too little attention is generally given to the preservation of health. It is far better to prevent disease than to know how to treat it when contracted. It is the duty of every person for one's own sake and for the sake of humanity to inform himself or herself in regard to the laws of life and conscientiously to obey them. All need to become acquainted with that most wonderful of all organisms, the human body. They should understand the functions of the various organs and the dependence of one upon another for the healthy action of all. They should study the influence of the mind upon the body and of the body upon the mind and the laws by which they are governed. We cannot be too often reminded that health does not depend on chance. It is a result of obedience to law. This is recognized by the contestants in athletic games and trials of strength. These men and women make the most careful preparation. They submit to thorough training and strict discipline. Every physical habit is carefully regulated. They know that neglect, excess, or carelessness, which weakens or cripples any organ or function of the body, would ensure defeat. In view of the issues at stake, nothing with which we have to do is small. Every act casts its weight into the scale that determines life's victory or defeat. The scriptures bid us, so run that ye may obtain. Maranatha, Jesus is coming soon.